in the middle. Hey. Hey guys. We are live. Today? Thirsty yes. Thursday. It is Thursday, Thursday. We've been missing y'all. And we came very thirsty today. Ugh, I don't know about that. We got things to drink. I don't know if I'm actually thirsty for it. Ugh. I'm a little parched. <laughs> yes, I'm please. a little parched. Come on in, you guys. It's great to see all you joining yes. this live. Hey, everybody. Come on in. Y'all want to see us drink this nasty stuff. That's why all y'all here. <laughs> Sweetest thing events. Hello. <laughs> Y'all look thirsty. Thanks. We are thirsty. We are thirsty. If you've been seeing our stories, you would know that we are tasting some very unique things today. Sweetest thing event said, hey. <laughs> hey, right back at you. Thanks for joining. Hey, Lily Boo. Yes, you guys. Happy Thursday. Ooh, hey, Narcissa. What's up, boo? Thanks for the love. It's been guys. too long. Someone said, what's on the menu today? Oh, Coley Cole, girl. What's on the menu We today? got some things on the menu. We got, we're going to get into some things. Y'all, we, we wanted to switch it up. Oh, God. Marcus said he can't wait to see our faces when we try <laughs> these. <laughs> we are wishing the best. Oh, goodness gracious. We might even have a, you know, buffalo chicken cocktail or something. You never know. <laughs> knows you guys we we found these sodas on the internet and we wanted to break out what we normally do because you know we're always so positive and have great things to say about all of what we sample but these things i don't know if they're supposed to taste good or taste bad i don't know but they're very we're calling them food sodas we're about to learn today we are about to learn today and there's no alcohol except our last our last beverage but we are going to get into these drinks. We, you don't want to wait any longer? I mean, well, this is the thing. We're not going to wait any longer then. You guys have responded really great on social media about what you would sip on and what you wouldn't sip on. Um, I was surprised by how open-minded a lot of you guys were with some of these unique flavors, especially like the ranch soda and the bacon soda. I bacon got bacon soda. soda. <laughs> Sandra Crockett says, sounds interesting. Yes, we're about to figure this out together. So we're excited. We found these on Amazon for anybody who wants to, you know, try this on your own. They're available on Amazon. Um, they're called Lester's Fixins, and he has an assortment of flavors for his soda. So we're starting with Buffalo Wings so, um, soda. Yes, Buffalo Wings. It looks soda. like an orange until you see that chicken wing <laughs> on there. Okay, there's a whole chicken wing. I think this should be called this should be called the food. What is it? The food soda challenge? Yes, the food soda challenge. The food soda challenge. We are about to go through this together. So, yeah. Oh, we had someone have a request. Y'all, we, we can't um accept requests right now. We got a taste. Live and learn some some hand. Who is that? Yes. <laughs> Buffalo wing soda. All right. So let us know in the comments what you think it's going to taste like. Buffalo wing, honey. These are yes. the Buffalo wing questions. Buffalo wing soda. So it's supposed to be flavored like buffalo hot. Hopefully not hot wings. Jesus. Hopefully just. And I like hot barbecue. wings. <laughs> All right. It's open. It's nice and cold. We are, we're hoping that it tastes better when it's cold. Maybe that's just being optimistic. I don't know. But Am I tripping? It's, it's, it's like no smell. There really isn't a smell. Maybe in the glass. Someone said hot miss. Interesting. <laughs> it's cool. That's how. Oh, okay. Y'all doing it up. So <laughs> it's carbonated, as you can see. Live and learn. A little bit of bubbles are happening, so hopefully that gives it a little bit of lift. Again. Again, no smell in it. It does not have a nose at all. This smells like carbonation. Looks like orange soda, but we all know the truth. This is what's in here, y'all boy. So. Woo! All right. <laughs> Cheers. We're going to try this buffalo. First time. First time caller. <laughs> buffalo uh, wing soda. You go first, Nick. You know what? It's not buffalo. It's it's more sweet. It's I'm sweet. not really getting buffalo. I'm not getting buffalo. I'm getting maybe like a little smoky flavoring. Mesquite? 
mesquite barbecue -y. barbecue -y flavor yes but i'm not getting like it's not meaty and my I'm sister glad. said y'all would have to trick me into drinking <laughs> that lol rolling on the floor laughing girl it's not even bad it's not that bad it's definitely giving orange yeah it's, it's giving orange soda give me a touch here jules yeah it's getting dark Yes. So, you know what, you guys? I, 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 I'm saying... I'm going to say this. You're eating some wings, right? Right. Um, maybe 20 minutes later, you drink a cool pop. <laughs> That's the flavor profile that I get from it. I don't... I don't it's not strong. It's not strong. One more Season? time, Jules. Yeah. Sandra Crockett said, it needs blue cheese stuff, olives, and vodka. So, orange soda. Listen, Hold we don't have up. the blue cheese, but we got some ranch. I, it's I, coming up. I gave it three sips because it, things do open up after the first sip. Like your tongue kind of like calibrates to the flavor. And it's still, it's like very sweet. It's not sauce. really anything. It's like a Kool-Aid soda. It tastes like Kool-Aid with a lot of water in it. Mm -hmm. Sprinkle the effervescence. With some bubble. Because it's sweet, but it's watery. And it's, it's effervescent. I don't get any chicken wings. I'm not getting chicken wing from this. So, Lester, y'all need to add a little bit more savory meat flavors, I think. To Somebody this. said you're being very nice. <laughs> no, we're not. We're being honest. I promise you we'll be honest. It's not that bad. Like, Hate a local real. palate. It's not that bad. So, buffalo wings. One soda. out of ten, what are you? I'm going to give it a three. I'll give it an effervescent. Yeah. <laughs> effervescent. And then like, yes. I'm giving it a three. <laughs> what about you? I'm gonna do from a one to ten. I'm gonna do a little three. It's it's not anything. It's like um sweet soda. It's like a sweet soda. It's it's you would think it's like a regular like squirt or something like that type of Pause. drink. <laughs> Pause for real. Like orangina. <laughs> Fanta. Fanta, there we Sheesh. go. It's definitely giving very much orange. So we're gonna let our assistants try these as well. They're looking like, oh, no, you guys are going to get in on it, too. So to go with those buffalo wings. Hey, a local palette. And someone says, love the art behind us. This is from one of our favorite artists in Charleston, Cole Peace. I think he's down in Savannah holding it down now. But K-O-L-P-E-A-C-E. -E, and he does these with fire. Fire and um, spray paints. He's an amazing artist, you guys. So to go along with the buffalo wings... Someone said blue cheese, but we got ranch. We got ranch soda, y'all. Ranch soda. Ranch soda. To go along with the buffalo wing soda. So, you know, wings, you need your little sprinkle of ranch. So we're going to do a sprinkle. Just a little bit. Of ranch. And, the, you know, they've made it white. It's clear, so yes. So you can see it. It's like a little, um, A little yes. cloudier than, like, sweet a Sweetgrass said ranch. <laughs> yes, sweetgrass. We got these off Amazon, and we are trying these food sodas. We're doing a food soda challenge. Hashtag. Yes. And this is from Lester's Fixings. Lester's Fixings. He says, y'all get your fix. Uh, local Pella said, feeling skeptical of the ranch <laughs> soda. You know what? Yes. That's all I can say is yes. But, I mean, we got through the wings. Yes. Let's see if we can get through this ranch. And sometimes, you know, the ranch will make the wings taste better. So <laughs> maybe this will be like a little pairing and it'll, the combination will be like on point. I don't know. This Again, remind me of one of these like Mediterranean shots when you add the water. It's like one of those anise drinks and you add the water and it like becomes. Sambuca? Exactly. Yes, y'all, ranch. <laughs> Somebody said ranch in my soldier boy voice. <laughs> You read that right. You heard that right. It is ranch soda. First. Oh, the smell. No, sir. <laughs> I got to I gotta have a water. No, sir. A water break on that no. one. No. Okay. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay. This one do smell like mayonnaise and dill and capers. It definitely is very savory on the nose. Oh, no. This made me scared. Uh, I don't know. Ooh, God, I got to do gentle lady sips for real. Oh, God. My stomach. Okay. Y'all. Y'all, this tastes like Sprite with Hidden Valley shaking up in it. <laughs> it's Sprite with Hidden Valley. It's Sprite with Hidden Valley. Somebody said no. Yes. 
somebody said tastes like nanny in it. <laughs> yes. It's very much. You know how some of them mayonnaise, it says dressing on it or just like, you know, salad dressing. It's very generic salad dressing, no name, store brand, ranch. This very is ranch so. and Sprite. <laughs> no, you know what? This ain't ranch and Sprite. This is ranch and bottle soda. Like, you know, like the generic oh, soda. This is that with the little pack, the little Hidden Valley Ranch pack. Shaking up in it. No. It's like a little aftertaste. It's kind of like, ugh. I don't know what's going with it's giving. It's Somebody said, oh, no, the reaction <laughs> tell at all. Yes. <laughs> when it hits the back, because it's still very sweet. These are, oh, this one is This very is sweet, sweet and it's ranchy. This is disgusting. I'm sorry, y'all. Lester's Fixins, no. This one's a no. I just can't get past the initial flavoring. It's just very... Mayonnaise, getting very much eggs, very much salt. It's just not how do they, how do they do that? That's gross, y'all. No. Would not recommend. Would recommend as a prank. <coughs> y'all. Mm -mm. I'm gonna give it one more sip because I, I'm doing three. No, man, my stomach did some things. Mm. Oh man. Somebody says stay hidden. Yes, eggs, and then yes. you had the egg emoji with the disgusting face. It's giving very much eggs. <laughs> All right, uh, one out of ten. What do you give this one out of ten? I give that a negative three <laughs> out of ten. Don't recommend. Save yourselves. It's just taste. It's like a little metallic flavor at the end too. It just was not. No, y'all know that old ranch that people be using at the hole in the wall clubs. The one that is like the cheap ranch that has that little aftertaste. Very much. That's how that tastes inside there. Just add a little sprite to it. A like. little bit of the offering. <laughs> what do they call the ones in the store? It'd be like Spring Valley or no, that's the water. Or a Dollar General. Yes. Brand. Somebody said what? Clover. Sam. Yep. <laughs> Clover Valley. <laughs> yep, that's it. So that was ranch, y'all. Yes. Somebody said, can we please stop talking about this? <laughs> <laughs> okay. right, Let's move, move on. on. <laughs> Hold on, where my phone at? Because I really did want to play that bacon. So, you know what? what? Jules, grab my phone. What? Touch and the touch the screen. Y'all, okay, what we have up next. Do you see my phone in there? Mm -mm. May Do you see actually... any phone? Oh, okay. Which one? Either one, girl, because yes. We need. Y'all, we got to play this song. Hold on. We, we got to play the song. <laughs> give you guys the intro for this one because this one might actually be good. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> this is one that people use with like sweet and savory stuff. One more touch on the screen here, guys. Yeah, it's oh, going, it's going black. There we go. So this one might be a treat. I'm hoping that it's gonna break things up. But you guys, let us know if there's any that we've tried so far that you would try, or that maybe you've. I gotta, had these I gotta before. put it on the right part of the song. Because um, I had seen these sodas before on like Food Network Chop Challenge. Give me another touch. And they were challenging the the chefs to make something with i think it was the ranch soda and that really intrigued me and i was like let me go see if i can find these sodas and they were on amazon the whole set of six was like 25 dollars <laughs> for um the whole six set of the different food sodas so if you're interested in trying it we're gonna i don't even know the part it's, 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 <laughs> well what we got Yes. What we got to try next. Yeah, I got to find the song, y'all, because... Oh, it came right on. It's coming up, y'all. Because <laughs> you know how Instagram is with copyright. Yes. It's coming. All right. Okay. Oh, TJ, uh, what's this? We got the... What we got, y'all? Because <laughs> we so bacon ghetto. Bacon soda. We got bacon soda. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so y'all were real hard to find that. Hey, hey, hey! So that's the theme song for this. <laughs> y'all, we so silly, but we got bacon soda. Bacon soda. Our assistant turned her head. She must be embarrassed by us today. <laughs> it's okay. We can be silly sometimes. We're being very honest, you guys, and. This is what's out here. This is on the market. You can buy this. Somebody talking about that might be good. Y'all like bacon? This bacon like might be good. Because people do bacon jams, do bacon jellies. Bacon, bacon and on. bourbon. Yes. Bacon fat wash. Right. For the cocktails. Okay, well, we're going to be open-minded. We're going to be open. 
Get some water for the pile and cleanse it all out. Yes, sweet, sweetest things events. We do have baking soda, literally. <laughs> Whip. We're whipping. In the kitchen. We're whipping. With the pots. Okay? <laughs> That's what we're doing here today. But baking soda, y'all. Uh, 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 the color is giving cherry, raspberry vibes. Yeah. Cherry. I don't know why it's so raspberry looking it's or red. pinkish. They said, keep talking, keep talking. I'm buying so far. <laughs> Sweetgrass, yes. Jamal, yes. Okay. The it's, smell is, meh. It smells like bacon bits. You know when you open up the bacon bits, it's like artificial bacon flavor? It smells like this. I was about to say dog food, but yeah, I like, guess. What do they give the kids, the dogs, the bacon strips? The little, um, yeah, bacon strips. Bacon strips. Bacon strips. <laughs> it's giving bacon strips. Okay. I wish I had they sound bite. See, we should have thought this through. <laughs> we hadn't tasted it yet. We waited to taste this with y'all. All right. Bacon Somebody said, soda. damn. Smell. Hmm. Yeah, the smell is hmm. Let me get some. Let me clear my palate. Bacon soda, y'all. Mm. You're losing me. Yeah. <laughs> that's what someone said. So this you. is not a sounding promising. <laughs> it's a no. It's very much water bacon. It's yeah, watery. The watery bacon. You even get a little smoky flavor on it, like burnt bacon pieces, which I like mostly my bacon to be burnt. But um, but it's sweet. It's like sweet. the sugar is taking over the bacon flavor. So it's kind of like maple bacon. Yeah. Watery down maple bacon. Yeah. I don't <laughs> see the green thought faces. Somebody said she wretched. <laughs> you wretched girl. I did because it's like, it's so much sweet and savory and smoke all at the same time. This is not the sweet and savory that you guys are looking for. Somebody said, absolutely not. Local palate, you're right. The palate is destroyed. <sighs> out of the three we've had so far, this is the most authentic to... This is the most palatable. It is the most palatable and it's the most tasting like the, the name of it. Like this tastes like bacon. It's giving me bacon... <laughs> it's not good, y'all. It's I wouldn't recommend. Mm -mm. Oh, it's so oh, it's like in my teeth. <laughs> you guys gotta try this. Somebody said hell nah. <laughs> bacon soda. Flavor profile flavor flavor profile bacon artist. All the X's. Johnny is a gangster, y'all, doing the three sips. It, it's a no for me too. Oh, I'm done. If I would not, uh, out of 10, yeah, I see it. I'm going to give this a four only because it's true to what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be baking soda. If I was going to make a baking soda, this would probably be what it would taste like. Jamal said he rocks with the smoke flavors. It, That's the only flavor you'll rock with. And the smoke is so, it's on the end. Whew. So if you give it up, you'll never get that smoke. <laughs> And someone told us, who's the manufacturer? They said watery bacon. Yes. <laughs> the manufacturer is Lester's Fixin'. Yeah. I have to say it that way. Somebody said they lose the money. Hey. <laughs> Some, we bought them. Somebody's buying these things. And they're making them in California. So it's a U.S. product. Figures. <laughs> Because other countries could never. They you know would be like, saying? why? Why would we? Why? But Yo. the next one, we're going to do international drinks. Because I have seen some, give me mm. a touch, at the like the Asia market of some fruits and different things. And I'm like, that sounds nuts. So we will have more of these kind of obscure flavored drinks. Since you guys like these so much. This took me on a roller coaster already. And we not even finished. But you know what? We have better. We have sweeter flavors i'm not gonna say better because i don't know i haven't tasted them yet we saved the best for last oh, cool. what we think are gonna be the best i don't know they said international drinks are bomb we're looking forward to it we actually went to an international spirits tasting in paris yeah um right before covid in february of 2020 and we tried all types of spirits um and they they were very well made even yeah. though it was obscure flavors they were made well and it didn't make your stomach feel weird. Jules is going black. Um, it didn't make your stomach feel weird afterwards. 
Right. And we were drinking a lot, and they had alcohol in them. See, these don't have alcohol in them, which probably could alter the way that it tastes mm-hmm. if it did have a little pinch of rum or a little bit of gin in that ranch. Ooh, no, it's still, it still isn't. I still wouldn't drink ranch and gin. It just, uh, I mean, I these are really novelty drinks because, I mean, get them yourself and see what the ingredients in. This are. next one we have. It's fall now. We got a little pumpkin pie soda. Now let us know if you're more of a... Somebody said Travel Mama's Coke was made with Coke originally. <laughs> yes, it was. We weren't around during that time, you know, when they were drugging the American people. But I guess that's what made it super popular. So we got pumpkin pie. <laughs> Holidays are coming up. Some families do sweet potato pie. Some do pumpkin pie. Let us know what y'all prefer for the for the holiday, sweet potato or pumpkin. You know, it's giving us still orange soda vibes. Is orange soda? Yes. This is the fun. Like pumpkin. Okay, so maybe you like this pumpkin soda. Maybe you can have. Maybe no. I don't their know. eyes rolling on the pumpkin <laughs> and the sweet potato. Maybe this with some eggnog might be a thing. This is the best smelling one we had to speak. This makes me happy. Okay. Sweet potato. I'm expecting it to be kind of like, you know, nutty and cinnamon and bacon spices. I'm expecting it to be really sweet <laughs> with a hint of pumpkin on the side. Yes. Cheers. The nose is kind of regular. It's giving me a little spice. Well, yeah, a little, little cinnamon soda. A little cinnamon. Pumpkin cinnamon soda. <laughs> True. This that's, is a pumpkin pie. That's good. With effervescence. It's giving me a little soapiness on the back. Like, you know how cilantro can give you like a soapy flavor? It's giving mm. me a little bit of that. I'm just so pleased that it's like tasty. It is. I you, can see what you're saying at the end. It's a little shiny right at the end. It's giving me like a little. Somebody says soapy. Yeah, a little soapy. Johnny has an, um, you know, extensive palate, so she's using some of those terms that we use when we're tasting spirits mm-hmm. and things like that. It doesn't yeah. really mean soap, it just means that it like kind of reminds you of soap. Mm-hmm. Like lavender, how lavender can be kind of, gives you like soap vibes. Shiny. Yeah. I say shiny to me like... Moonshine. Yeah. <laughs> like it's giving you like a little bit of like how that moonshine kind of... Like the aftertaste. Yes. You know what, this is not that bad. No, I'm getting cinnamon, cloves, bacon spice. You could really make that cute um, on Thanksgiving and yeah. do like some champagne with it mm-hmm. or do like, especially like a brute to kill a little bit of that sweetness to make it really festive. I This one I'll give a 7 out of 10. I'll give it a 7. Six, yeah, because I'm not drinking cases of this. But, you know, it would be kind of cute novelty for Thanksgiving to have it by the... Saw this is Annie. Hi. Yes, to have the sodas by the pie, maybe, and then maybe do like a little drink situation. Because this could be good with a rum. This could be good with a, a bourbon, actually. Mm-hmm. Especially like something like a, even like a rye whiskey, mm-hmm. something that's not sweet at yeah. all, and you'll get the pepperiness. Yeah, this is a good one. Somebody said lavender definitely can give you a soapy vibe. I love that herb. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, it, it, I was about to drink this. <laughs> in this drink, it. it's not a plus, I would say. But, you know. One thing about these is that they are made with pure cane sugar. Right. So it's, it doesn't have the high fructose corn syrup that you would expect in novelty drinks like this. So good for them for doing that. There are some other things in the sodas, but we're tasting these. This is a food soda challenge, right. not a food soda we're going to. Drink it all of it because we heard if you drink all of it, it's not really happy endings. No, because it gotta come <laughs> out. You know what I'm saying? So, so imagine. Sip. Don't slam <laughs> these as well. Don't, don't slam. Six out of ten for me on the pumpkin pie. I'm soda. gonna give that seven. Seven. So yeah, I would, I would, rec- you know, it's way lighter than any pumpkin spice anything you would drink at Starbucks because it's super sweet at Starbucks. That's. That's mild. So they did good with that one. They did do good. Okay. Get your fixings. Get your <laughs> fixings. And it's only 170 calories for this whole bottle if you did want to consume it. So. You won't. You won't. <laughs> you won't. 
All right. Thanks for the emojis. So this is going to be our last one. We did have the sweet corn soda. Something happened to it. Someone, we shall not name any names, drunk it one night. Drunk all of it. And almost threw up their entire stomach. Did they almost or did it happen? <laughs> I think it happened. Yeah, I think it happened. So, yeah, once you, yeah, we, we realized that we we're going to wait just for you guys before we decided to taste it because we didn't want that fateful ending. We didn't want that. You have to be prepared to drink these things. You just can't be like, let me grab something. And I'm just going to, I'm thirsty. And just grab a, little lunch. a ranch soda. Like you, I, I would not recommend that. But what we are going to try is this classic. Peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. Yes. And we saved this for last because we knew at least it would have a good little flavor. And we could um, end these sodas off on a positive note. So we got the peanut butter jelly soda made with pure cane sugar. And we all have memories, nostalgia of coming home from school, making a peanut butter jelly sandwich. Oh, it so good. Oh, it does smell good. Mm. It, that smells like Concord grease. It does. <laughs> okay. The good sweet ones. It is. That Welsh's jelly. All right. I liked it. Okay, yes. Cheers. And it's a nice color. It looks like pinkish. It looks like if peanut butter and jelly were like mixed all the way together, mm -hmm. it would come out with this color. Let's do it. Okay. Is that a crystal head vodka? This is not. This is actually um, outer space vodka, but I'm sure that crystal head will be hitting them up the <laughs> copyright for copyright or you know <laughs> infringement because this it can't last for long. But it's an alien head. And the liquor is green tinted. It's called Outer Space Vodka. Our assistant said that you have to be crazier from other countries or other worlds to be trying to drink these. So that's why they she put it on the set for us today. Yeah. This is good. Like no cap. Everything. It's the peanut butter. It's the jelly. Mm -hmm. You get the sweetness in the beginning from the grapes or the grape like. I don't know what they're doing the grape flavorings, and then you get the nuttiness at the end. Yeah. So you taste the peanut butter and you also taste the uh, jelly. Ram, P-O or R-A-M, P-O. Ladies, how are you? We are swell. We're sipping on food sodas today. Food, food soda challenge. Yes, this is good. Like, Hashtag, real? this is delicious. Do y'all know any other food sodas? Send them to us, now I'm intrigued, I wanna expand this is really good we saved for the best real. for last we did it's giving you like you get that jelly jam you get that nut flavor but it's not like a big dollop of peanut butter on it's a little little mm. little taste mm. you know sometimes you make a pb and j <laughs> and there's so much peanut butter it gets stuck on the roof of your mouth it's not that kind of level of peanut butter it's very light subtle nut, creamy peanut butter not the chunky stuff and it's not super sweet either with the grapes like the, the jelly good job this is a good one i'll give it eight i will give this eight as well and this flavor profile is very common like we have a brewery here in charles and edmunds o's brewery and they have a beer that's flavored like peanut butter and jelly delicious it's so good it's called pb and j mm -hmm. so if you're in charleston check it out at either one of the locations the brewery or the um what's the other location called up there at workshop Edmonds O's, just the regular Edmonds O's. That, oh, that. the work. Oh, Edmonds O's. In the workshops. Yeah, brilliant. both locations have pe peanut butter and jelly um, beer, so definitely recommend you trying that out. And check out this soda. I mean, it is different. I have never different. tasted anything like this, and they really did a good job. I wonder what made them want to do food sodas. I guess it's just like, like I said, a novelty, something fun to do. Cause we had a good time. It's. I was surprised by this. We did start off. With the worst. We had ranch soda, y'all. Mm -mm, nasty. Unique flavor. Nasty. <laughs> you know, it's nasty. maybe there's a place for it. We haven't, we didn't find it today. But um, this yes. could be very good with vodka if you wanted to just make it alcoholic because the flavors are all there. Yeah. And then that'll help take away some of the sweetness too. So maybe some of that, maybe some grapefruit juice. I think it's so cute. I think I would do something like a picnic picnic spritz. Mm -hmm. Like add some kind of effervescence to it and make you feel like you're like outside, Jules. Add a, 
picnic or, you know, at a little, I don't know, tea. Fair. Yeah, a little tea. tea. That would be cute at a tea. Something like that. So I think it's good. Eight out of ten. Good job on that one. As Try like, it. Maybe for kids, this would be great for like a kid's party because it gives them like really f strong flavors, but it's not any alcohol involved. That would be fun. And, and, and no uh, energy component either. Yes. So there's no like caffeine in it or nothing like that. Yeah. So this would be great for kids to do like a little blind tasting or something with your kids to see if they can like figure out the flavors. That, that would be, be fun. Yeah. That would be fun. Yes, we do things for the children as well. No, you guys didn't know that. Yes. <laughs> Surprise. I actually finished off my peanut butter jelly uh, soda. That didn't let yeah, you I know. Yeah, didn't, I didn't dump that one out either. I'm... It's good. That was cool. I like that. That's why you have to be open-minded because... Right. Try different things. You just never know. We had these in here for a couple of weeks, y'all. <laughs> we sat on them. We wanted to really prepare our palate. Mm. A touch jewels for mm. this because um, we knew it was going to be different. And um, they did not disappoint. Good job. If you guys want to do, what is it? The food? Bev soda. Food soda challenge. Yes. Please do it with the hashtag, you know, food soda challenge. You never know. We might have a little gift for yeah. you guys. We might have something that we want to pass out for, you know, being a part of our little experiment. They do challenges for every other crazy thing. <laughs> so, you know, getting you some food sodas and tasting that is a small thing compared to, you know, crate challenge right and... you're not gonna hurt yourself with this you might you know spit up a little bit and you know but other than that it just ain't gonna hurt nobody so look into it and let us know we would yeah. love to see you guys either trying this or recommending something or if you have a food inspired drink that you make at home or your granny makes let us know about it especially with the holidays coming right. up like people have their own little things i know johnny and her family does the fruit cake every yeah. year so we might need to do like a fruit cake cocktail rendition yeah. that would be cool would be so and great. that could be a tradition that we do i love that can you read those captions like yes eat one of these glasses ram poses i'm straight when it's cold and on the rocks when it's warm okay Right. John Square said, as long as I don't have to go on TikTok. If you don't, <laughs> you don't have to go on TikTok. You know, it's a little Instagram, cha. And our boo is on the live. We wanted to let you guys know that we're doing our finale of our Facebook rooms with Miss Cha Squared on October 20th. Yes. So, y'all, check out our girl. Follow her right there. Mm -hmm. You know, click on her page. See all the fabulous stuff that she's doing up in New York and beyond. Yes. And tune in on Wednesday, October 20th at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. We'll have her back. You know, we had some issues with Facebook when we did our first wine exploration with y'all. But this time, we got it all worked out, and it's going to be a great conversation. It was meant to be mm -hmm. around two, honey. It was meant to be around two. That's so we Right. are excited about that and we wanted to close it off with something that we know tastes good <laughs> hey dc elixir mixer something that was locally made and inspired by two people that we know two african-americans in our community here in charleston yes so it's d white and yes. miss april miss april what's her instagram she is uh, the Traveling Hoptista on Instagram. The Traveling Hoptista and the Dropping Pen. That's right. Um, in Charleston, who, well, Dropping Pen is just like, they call him the, like the low-key mayor yeah. of downtown. He does a lot of great uh, work in the community. And these guys have created a beer together called The Community Partner with Holy City Brewing. And they had a launch party on friday so we came right back in town from our travel meetup which we need to do a live about, about our travel meetup we're gonna we we gotta give that its own day mm -hmm. but we came in after we got back from spartanburg and pulled we were so tired she pulled she did she's a champion she went do out it for the team represented for us <laughs> but the party was packed from all views everybody who was there said it was a great event it was and what's so great about it if you guys don't we're in charleston mm -hmm. and you know we wrote our book what holy spirit holy spirit charleston's culture through cocktails mm -hmm. three years ago yep. and even before then um there were not a lot of people of color at the breweries no. not brewing not doing the recipes not attending not consuming beer None of those things. So it is so exciting to see um, people like David White with Dropping Pin and um, April. April 
with the traveling hoptista just doing something creative and everybody coming out to show love they had a dj they had it turned up outside it was just a great time seeing all these people of color enjoy a good community beer name the community right. our girl Mara wasai yes i have to put her in the comments you have to put it in the comments yes for sure. but um she did all the artwork beautiful stuff beautiful and you can't even really see the whole glory of it because it's on the can. But they had some posters where you could see it flat out. And it's just a gorgeous design. She's also a local Charleston artist. And we love supporting her work. Absolutely. Earrings, jewelry. She does all of that. She's really a Jane of all trades. So are we going to open this up? We're going to get into this. You guys, this is the American Lager. Yes. How American is it to have our brother and sister involved in this? Beautiful beer, and they bought so many cases. It was just amazing. It is not a flavored beer. Now, I think Miss April was going for a Heineken profile style beer. Just looking at our community, you know, black folks drink a lot of Heineken. That's one of those names that we are attracted to. So she wanted to take that same profile, but make it craft and make it really approachable for people who are maybe new to beers. Cause you know, all those IPAs and goals can be very, they're very creative, but they can be a little bit much for your palate if you're not used to it. So this one is very approachable. It's creamy, it's light. It's a traditional American lager. Yes. Joyce, can you come over here and push these comments down? Oh, the art in the back is, um, it is our logo. Our logo is Añejo Brown. Añejo Brown is our girl. Her name is Añejo Brown because she, is Añejo, which is the darkest color of the tequila. It's aged the longest. It means aged. Mm -hmm. And we are aged. I mean, let's keep it a buck. <laughs> right. And a brown is just the color of an Añejo tequila and right. the color of us. Mm -hmm. So that's our logo. And this was like a funky, rocked out, rebel version of her. She changes up yeah. every once in a while. She changes up her hair. Changes up, you know, she wears the braids sometimes, Glass. different color glasses, and she might have a different beverage or two in her photo. So mm -hmm. that's our girl. You'll be seeing more of her in the future. Again, Cole Peace, a local artist, did this for us. He's now in Savannah, but he is from Charleston. He's amazing. He did this for us live. We actually have like two or three of his, so very happy to have his art in our collection. Yes. Oh, look at Dana talking about, but still fine. <laughs> Ew, we gonna <laughs> cheers to that, Dana. Thanks, Miss you, girl. I'm going to get into this American Lager. DC okay. Elixir Mixer said he wants to work with her. Okay. Oh, Narcissa said she never knew the story behind our logo. See, you know what? We wasn't we wasn't talking that much back in the day. We was just taking pictures and doing the social media and, and trying to do the stuff in the beginning. But now we're trying to do more storytelling since we got time. We're doing the, the virtuals. Oh, this beer is busting. I, I drink many of them at the party. It's so good. And it's light. It's not light. heavy. Oh, the aftertaste is delicious. And I say creamy because the mouthfeel is like, you know, thick. And it's a delicious lager. Lactose is... DC Elixir Mixer. Who did you want to work with? I didn't catch the first part. You guys are commenting today. Thank you. Cold Piece is actually a male artist. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And Marawasai is a female. Yes. So Marawasai did this and Cold Piece did this. And both did them here in Charleston. That's right. Both are phenomenal artists. Cool Peace did this for us at an event live with this in, in the studio that we're in right now. This Actually, one? Was it this one? Oh, no, no, no. He did that at the Hyatt. We were at the Hyatt house. Okay. <laughs> we were at the Hyatt house in the hotel. Oh. Did you see Alexa say he want to work with Añejo? Oh, well, us? <laughs> Dwayne. First of all, you know how to get in contact with us. Back to the beer. You about to get her Geechee now. We don't want the Geechee <laughs> just, to come out, he Dwayne. Knew. He already yeah, knew. first of all. Y'all doing great stuff in D.C. too. Uh, Chocolate City's Best had their whole thing going on. Love to see all those black bartenders competing in competition and winning money and getting support from the brands. It's a lot to see. it. Just like this one with the community. So many people came around to put this together to make it happen. So proud of David and April and the good folks over at Holy City Brewery. Mm -hmm. Apparently, I went to school with somebody over there. Paul. She went to school with Paul, one of the owners. They are in the same class. I guess when you go to huge school yes. that have 4,000 people, <laughs> you don't meet everybody. I went to a school with 500 people, so it, uh, I graduated with 100. Just hits different. Shout out to Paul, though. 
This is good beer, y'all. They still have it. Available. Hey, Dartarian. Oh, what's up? Don't see they about to. Hey, Dartarian. You. Dartarian. Uh, no, what's up? But, but I want to take a little story about. Um, I want to read the story about the community. Yes. It is the community. Um is a part of a multi-brew initiative to bring more color into the tap room. Nice. It's packed with local ingredients and flavor that takes you back to your favorite cookout or family gathering. One sip and you'll remember the good times, the good music, the good vibes, while drinking good beer. Yeah. Our beer brewed to reach people of all cultures and curate a diverse and inclusive tap room experience yeah. throughout the community. In collaboration with Traveling Hoptista with her logo and Dropping Paint with his logo. And it's just, we're so proud of them. Love to see it. It's levels. Love to see it. And you it guys, was that. Get them that. The tap room was very diverse on the day of the launch. I mean, it was awesome. ages, backgrounds, professions. It was, just was beautiful to see. And that's really the goal. I mean, these beverages are all social lubricants. And they get people mm -hmm. together relaxes everybody we can have a conversation about things that are controversial or political or whatever it is or just bring people together who yes. wouldn't be usually together on a saturday or friday night that's right so it was just a great experience mm -hmm. to be a part of the energy it was so positive and everybody was so inspired we were talking about how we knew each one of the people that were working in the collaborations and you know just grateful to be in a community that's doing these type of things. So cheers to them. We're gonna keep supporting them yes. and tag them. And I hope you guys buy some. It's exclusively at Holy City Brewing. Mm -hmm. um, not sure if you can get it online. And look at the dropping pan. He just jumped in. What's <laughs> up, the dropping pan? We are talking about your beer. Look at that. We let the people know. We had to. Let us know if it's if they can get it. Anywhere else besides Holy City, can they get it online? How can people support you guys with the community? Do you have it in your back trunk of your car? Are you trapping out the bando? Let us know what's up, dropping pin. Tell me I don't even know. Stop <laughs> playing. <laughs> he probably is so overwhelmed with people wanting it now. <laughs> and I'm sure the amount of support has just been overwhelming for you. And you deserve every bit of it. Yes, you do. This beer is awesome. We, we, we all have a stock. That's right. And actually, I went through my case I had already, so I got to go re-up. We had, like, a little four-pack, so. <laughs> oh, no, I, had, I got more than eight. I had I already knew. Oh, it's just that Holy City for now. Okay, great. Okay, so local love. You guys come show love. You never know. We um, we might have some. You never know. It depends on how this go. Holy City has a great location. They just have been in their new location maybe less than a year. It's gorgeous. Plenty of space. It's right up there um, going towards Park Circle. And there's so much of Park Circle right now, you guys. So if you haven't been up there yet, take a trip up the up Sproul, up to the north, that way. That way. <laughs> and go check out Holy City and get one of the community beers. Yes. Support. Support the community. Support is love. We had a great time. Yes. Great beer. Great people. Great vibes. No lies. No lies on that. That's no Capicola on that. No, no cap. cap. You guys, thank you guys for watching us suffer through these food sodas. Hashtag food soda challenge. The Pack Traveler Club said so they're going to have to travel and get some. It, come get you yes. some. Yes. You need to drink some history. How you been, friend? You need to drink some history. Thanks for joining our live, you guys. We appreciate all the support that you guys bring us with these lives, with our Facebook audio rooms. We have gotten such a great amount of feedback and support for the rooms that we did with Facebook. Hopefully we're back for another season, keeping those fingers crossed, because we got way more to be talking about, way more people in our industry to interview and get the background on their stories. Dana, we come into Atlanta very soon. We're, we're gonna talk like about, about about all of that. Traveling Hoptista said, thank you ladies for tasting our beer. Girl, we are honored to drink your beer. So proud of you what you and David did. And thank you for hopping on the live. Yes. Hey, love. We're going to have to do something with, you know, all four of us together. And Maybe a little interview. Yes. yes. That would be good. Maybe a little interview. Maybe you guys want to hop on the live too one day. We don't mind a little impromptu live jam session. Yeah, we can, we can get that arranged. That'd be awesome. But I appreciate you guys so much for being in the community. The more we do, the more that we can share. She said that would be awesome. Yes, yes ma'am. Just just look, be on the lookout. Yes. DC so Elixir exciting. makes it say he need a four pack. You do. If you like loggers, you missing out. This is good. 
Come to Charleston, Dwayne. You, you owe us a visit to Charleston come anyway, Charleston. Dwayne. We know we wide open, so it don't even... <laughs> you can come down here from D.C. And the D.C. people, y'all need to come down here anyway and see what we are doing in Charleston, baby. We're not playing in the South. I'm proud of us in Charleston. We're doing our thing. We are. Thanks for all the hearts and the likes and the comments. This has been a very interactive live. Thank you so for that. So fun. So fun. We're back next week, Thursday, again. We're going to be tasting things. We're going to be giving you an update on our recent travels. And we also have a giveaway coming up. So stay tuned for the details on our giveaway. We're giving away clothes, bathing suits, shoes, all kind of stuff. And I know it's the fall jewels. here, but it's still hot. It's going to be hot for a little minute. And you can keep that body right for the next year. Right. And we traveling. So maybe you're going someplace where it's going to be hot. And yeah. you just slip into something. You a know little more saying? comfortable. So Scantily clad. We're here for traveling in the fall <laughs> and winter. 2021. That's what we're going to be Period. Doing. Getting out of here. Getting some sand in my feet. And all fall 20. A little touch again, Jules. We're going to get out because Instagram yeah, is Yeah, because it's in, Yeah, the phone's wanting to get us off. So, Child Square, we outside. Yes! <laughs> and when we finish our live, we really outside, sis. We really outside. You guys, stay tuned October 20th for, for Cha and the Bandits on Facebook. A live audio rooms is going to be a great conversation and be on the lookout for child too charles in charleston you outside boo but you in charleston too mm -hmm. so looking forward to all of all of you know what we got going on we ain't gonna talk about it we're gonna be about it y'all know how we do <laughs> and next week we're back thursday 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 tune in then four, four o'clock cheers cheers finish up our beer push it up yeah